Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. What an amazing morning, my friends. Bitcoin already created another new all-time high and it looks like that we're gonna see continuation to the upside. So congratulations to everyone that longed yesterday this uh, breakout here. I was also announcing over on Discord in my Discord trading chat. If you want to join it, make sure to join it with the link down below here because this is the official link. Don't fall into scammers my friends because currently we have a lot of scammers in the comment section which want to bring you into the telegram groups or whatever groups I don't have such so make sure that you're using only the official links that you find down below here in my video description so I was telling you yesterday that we were about to break out here to the upside and although we had your massive pump that led us to go towards $36,000 we almost met it and it looks like that Bitcoin will not stop right now and that we most likely are going to create another potential ascending triangle that will take us towards 40,000 and potentially even higher because keep in mind that we still have this 2.618 FIB extension level at around $46,000 so it is still possible that Bitcoin is heading towards this price level before having any kind of correction because yesterday remember that we had these two big uh, pullbacks here and this got immediately bought back up so it looks like that someone don't want you to buy cheap Bitcoin so everyone is right now FOMO in into the price as soon as we're having a pullback my friends so this is very very bullish for the Bitcoin price for the short term also for the long term so we know that we will go way above 100k so even buying right now at around 30,000 to 40,000 dollar is still cheap but of course we want to try to buy as cheap as possible before before we're going completely parabolic towards our long-term targets and it looks right now that Bitcoin will continue to go higher and will not have right now a correction because as you can see here yesterday as soon as we attempted here to break out from our resistance at around $32,300 here the nine moving average switched into green and this signaled that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside and we most likely will meet our target of at around $32,300 $35,000. You can see that we also overshooted it to the upside. We reached almost 36 thousand and right now we are again consolidating here in this area and we are not seeing any kind of a sell-off or take profits so in my opinion if you want to still open up a long position then look here at the 9 and 20 moving average in the four hour currently at around thirty-three thousand dollar if you want to open up a long position over on Bybit or Femex because this is the way how to maximize your gains my friend so with leverage and with Bybit and Femex with these platforms you can do really nice gains even with a small amount of money on the way to the upside so don't only buy Bitcoin but also take a little bit of it and put it here in buy with or Femex and enter a nice long position because like this you can do really nice gains on the way up and if you don't feel too much comfortable in trading yourself with leverage then make sure that you use Prime XPT you can also find my referral link down below here because on Prime XPT we have this special co-vesting feature where you can just easily top up a little bit of Bitcoin here and then follow other successful traders and remember those two top traders over here they have right now over 10,000 percent in gains my friends yesterday we were at around eight or nine thousand and now already this guy 12,740 percent and this other one 11,830 so you see also like this you can do some passive money and if you catch the right traders especially the top ones here if you sort it by top gainers even with a small amount of money you can do really huge gains here because the most of them they're following the trend they're looking at the charts 24 7 because they also profit when you are in profits so that means all the gains that you're doing they also will take a part of it and that's why they are very much interested in being successful because like this of course they will also earn a lot of money but at the same time also you will do a lot of gains so definitely try it out my friends currently this is really amazing 
to see these huge gains here that you can make over here with the co-vesting feature without doing anything. You just have to top up a bit of Bitcoin and then just click here on follow and immediately you're starting to follow these traders without doing anything. And all the profits, of course, you can withdraw at any time. You can stop at any time following them. When you think right now it's a good time to leave, then just exit it and get your rewards instantly. So during this nice bull run that we're seeing right now, you can really make maximize your gains and also accumulate more and more Bitcoin until we're gonna reach our potential final top at the end of this year and in my opinion it will be way above 100k so make sure that on the way towards those targets you have accumulated enough Bitcoin by buying it every week if you don't have Bitcoin then DCA every week into Bitcoin otherwise if you have already enough Bitcoin then just lean down and enjoy the ride to the upside because we're still far away from our target and of course you can also maximize your gains if you use Bybit and Femex. All my referrals are down below here if you still need an account because with my links you will get some bonus if you fulfill all the requirements. You have to put a, a little bit of uh, Bitcoin on it and then you will get those bonus. And uh, yeah in the four hour it looks like that we're gearing up here for another big move to the upside and if we also go over into the daily time frame you can see that as long as we are closing these daily candles above the nine daily moving average currently at $31,200 we are still gearing up to the upside and we should expect big continuations to the upside only if we're starting to close daily candles below this important moving average I think we're gonna see a major correction at least towards the 20 daily at 27,600 potentially even lower we have covered the bearish target in my last couple of videos if you didn't watch it then make sure first to subscribe here to the channel and then go into my videos and select the last couple of videos where I covered here the bearish targets in case of a breakdown here and if we're gonna lose here the nine daily moving average as a support which Bitcoin always respected here during this nice bull run that we're seeing right now and also if we go over into the Bollinger Band in the daily, you can see that we are still trading right at the top here. So as long as we're closing above the first moving average here, the nine daily moving average at 31,200, we should expect the price to go higher and higher. Stochastic is still cooling off here a little bit, but that of course is very healthy if we're seeing the stochastic coming down and the price rising. Of course, we could also form bearish divergences, but right now it is still looking like that Bitcoin is gearing up here to the upside and it's just ignoring any kind of bearish signs here we also have MACD and KSD still shifted to the upside so everything is pointing out that we will see here continuation to the upside and what we have seen so far doesn't look to me like a blow off top or anything like that so usually Bitcoin always in the last moves we see a big huge pump and then a big uh, dump of course and this is not what we have seen so far so even though we could be towards the end of this run and we will see a potential correction pretty soon we didn't see yet at the blow off top so we need like for example a big push here towards like forty thousand dollar and then have a big sell-off then this could signal a potential local top which will lead into a massive correction towards our bearish targets but overall bitcoin will still remain bullish here in the bigger time frames and we will see continuations to the upside but as long as we are not seeing any kind of blow off top we should be still gearing up here to the upside and we shouldn't expect a big correction in coming anytime soon so although in the lower time frames like here the four hour this uh, potential sell-off here was denied and we will see continuation here to the upside also in the lower time frame so if you want to stack in some nice longs make sure to put it in right now so between here 35 down to 31 thousand dollar if we're gonna go below 30k then make sure to put the stop loss there because in that case we will most likely have this correction towards the 200 moving average right now at $24,000 so that of course is still possible but be sure that if we're not having any kind of four hour close below 30,000 we will see a potential breakout to the upside which will take us at least towards 40k in my opinion so what I'm expecting here in the next couple of hours maybe even days is that we will potentially move sideways here before we're gonna see continuation to the upside and uh, I also want to have a look into the Bitcoin dominance and also into the Ethereum chart later but before we go there let's also have a final look here into the weekly time frame because here once again you can see here 
these potential bearish targets the nine weekly moving average at 23,000 and here the 20 weekly right at $17,000 so far it doesn't look like that we are going down to those levels but keep in mind and be mentally prepared that we could see at any time if like bad news or something like that are coming out we could see a potential sell-off towards those two targets then bottom out and then continue here the parabolic move to the upside that of course is at any time possible because keep in mind that those targets way above 100k are approximately estimated by the end of this year in my opinion and we just started the year so we have a long time to go till then my friends and that's why you always need to be updated every day because we still have a long way to go and that's why make sure that you're subscribed here to the channel and also feel free to join me over on twitch and discord where we have a very great crypto family and where you can also get my own indicators for your own trading view but also you can just get the access to my live stream over on discord with my own indicator so be mentally prepared my friends that we could see a potential correction down to those levels but for now it looks like that we will see continuation to the upside as long as we don't see a big potential blow off top that could lead into a massive correction and if we see such a correction make sure to buy as much bitcoin as possible and also dca into a nice long position because for the long term you will be very very profitable my friends and now let's have a look into the bitcoin dominance this is now the daily time frame and here you can see that currently we are seeing this uh, correction also the nine daily moving average here swifted into bearish so we will most likely see a continuation to the downside in the bitcoin dominance i was expected to reach at least like 75 to 80 percent but it looks like that at least here for the short term we're gonna continue to go a bit lower potentially towards the 67 percent again and that of course is good for the altcoins we will most likely see some altcoins pumping especially ethereum also band protocol right now is pumping like crazy also in comparison to bitcoin so this is what i'm expecting to happen here in the next couple of hours and days that we most likely gonna start to trade sideways or more to the downside here in the bitcoin dominance same like also in the bitcoin price we're gonna most likely move sideways only if bitcoin is gonna have a huge pump then i think the bitcoin dominance will gear up here and move towards 75 to 80 percent but if bitcoin is just going sideways right now for a while then i think here we will see some altcoins pumping here also in comparison to bitcoin and this will lead potentially here into another correction down towards 67 percent in bitcoin dominance where we most likely are going to bottom out only if we go below 67 percent we are back in this uh, channel and then i think we could again bounce here between 60 to 67 percent before then we're gonna see another breakout so i don't think right now we're gonna see a huge altcoin season but at least some of the altcoins will potentially pump here since the bitcoin dominance is cooling off here a bit and until we're gonna go again higher here we could see some altcoins pumping like band protocol but most likely also ethereum because as you can see also ethereum this is the four hour time frame you can see that currently is breaking out out of this potential ascending triangle and you can see here the estimated target is at around its own all-time high of around $1,400 so $1,400 my friends is very very possible for ethereum if we are having here a successful breakout and remember that you can also trade ethereum with leverage so if you want to go long here on ethereum especially if we're having now the confirmation that this $1,100 is the new support so if here we're gonna close the next couple of hours above $1,130 then I think we could see here a massive move to the upside towards $1,400 and this is like almost a 50% pump my friends so take advantage of this incoming pump which in my opinion could happen here in ethereum in the next couple of hours and you can also trade ethereum over on bybit femex with leverage so if you want to take this trade then make sure to open up an account over on bybit and femex with my links down below here so you will get also some bonus and of course here you can trade with ethereum and also with us dollar tether if you have some tether on the sideline so also ethereum could be in a similar ascending triangle like bitcoin but here i think the breakout will happen sooner it is possible that we are already breaking out right now and we are just waiting for confirmation before we're gearing up here for the next big move to the 
upside so be prepared my friends that here we could see big fireworks in ethereum and most likely in also some other altcoins for example band protocol right now is also starting to moon here and also here we are still far away from its all-time high so i think some of these DeFi coins will do very very good in the future especially if we're gonna have a big altcoin season which in my opinion is not yet but we will see some altcoins pumping for sure here in the next coming days so the conclusion for now my friends is that we most likely gonna see continuation to the upside for bitcoin and also for some altcoins if you don't have bitcoin then make sure to open up right now an account over on swissborg binance and coinbase with my links down below here you will get some rewards and also start right now to dca into bitcoin every day or at least every week because as you can see every dip is bought back up immediately and we are still far away from our bullish target so we are right at the beginning of course a bigger correction can happen at any time but of course you cannot just wait for this unique opportunity which in my opinion will be very very short-lived the best is always to dca it doesn't matter if tomorrow we're gonna drop 50 percent then you just go and buy more very easy and also keep in mind that the easiest way to maximize your gains is to long ethereum long bitcoin over on femix and bybit use my links to get this bonus and then open up some long positions if you don't feel comfortable with leverage then just go without leverage but like this you will sitting in way more profits if the bitcoin price is going higher and higher maybe next to your own trading use also the prime xpt co-vesting feature that only prime xpt has and the other way to do also some profits next to trading of course is to flip into some altcoins for example into band protocol or ethereum to then one once they're gonna pump more than Bitcoin, you can take the profits all back into Bitcoin and like this, of course, you can also multiply your Bitcoins. And the easiest way to do that is over on Binance. So if you still need a Binance account, use also my link down below here. You don't need KYC, nothing here. And at the same time, you can also buy easily Bitcoin and other cryptos with your bank account and also credit card just with one exchange so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now thank you again very much for your support please hit the like button i very much appreciate that and also if you want to join me every day make sure to subscribe here and also tick the little bell so you will get always notified once i upload a new video and yeah keep an eye here what is going on in the next couple of hours i think bitcoin most likely is gonna start to trade sideways here but in ethereum most likely we're gonna see a big uh, pump here incoming pretty soon this chart is really looking bullish in my opinion and ethereum is still undervalued so we are still far away from its all-time high and that's why i think this is quite a good bet here if you buy some ethereum or you long some ethereum to ride it up towards our next target of this all-time high here at around 1400 and i don't think that we will stop there most likely we're also here gonna continue to go higher and higher so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>